that one. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Honda Street Garage. Today we're going to try to do a headlight harness tuck, so we're going to have to take off our front bumper and fenders. But I just stopped at Walmart to get a couple of things that I need for this. What I got was a pick set, some electrical tape, some zip ties. All this cost me less than $10, so now we're going to head to the shop, start taking everything apart, see if we can get this done quickly today. So what we're gonna attempt to do today is part two of the wire tuck. We're going to try to tuck the headlight harnesses, which is not too difficult other than the fact that you have to take the front bumper and both fenders off uh, so that you can tuck the wires behind there. The only tricky part about that is lining the fenders up again with the hood once you're done. But I'm going to reveal today a secret about the car. The car is going to be repainted very soon. So with that being said, I'm not too worried about the fender lineup because the fenders are gonna have to come back off to get painted anyway. It's just time for, you know, something new, something fresh, get all the dents out, all the scratches out, stuff like that. And we're gonna surprise you with the new color. We should have this thing painted relatively soon. Now, let's get started about the wire tuck. Headlight harness wiring tuck. Really, it doesn't seem too difficult. All it is is this guy right here is kind of ugly and the same thing on this side kind of ugly and tuck it behind the fender as well as a couple of other things now i don't really plan on relocating the uh, fuse box or the battery so those are going to stay put we're just trying to make things a little cleaner for the future eventually the engine bay will be redone and painted and we'll do a um, clutch line tuck and probably a semi brake line tuck blah 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 no one cares let's get on with it first step take off the bumper and the fenders Okay, so now we have removed the grill, the front bumper, and this uh, driver's side fender over here. And pretty much the first thing we're gonna do is try to get this wire separated from everything so that we can just get it up, pulled off and up to the corner so that we can then get it on this side of the fender, run it along this side and uh, come in this way. Gonna need to unplug the headlight harness, just grab the sides. So I have gone ahead and removed the headlight just, just to make things a little easier. Pretty much, we need to go in here, follow this wire around to these two plugs over here. If you can, avoid doing this while the engine is still hot. I'm gonna bust that guy out. Basically, if all we do is take this and flip it around the front here, Bring it around this way. Okay, so for simplicity, just to make things a little easier for you guys to see things, I have removed the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the clutch slave reservoir. Okay, so don't be confused by that. I've also disconnected the two wires on the brake uh, cap are right here on the harness. It's just two wires, you can't get them backwards, so don't fret. Now, this is the harness right here. What I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna take this razor blade here and I'm gonna cut this little tape very softly and damage any wires. Believe it or not, this is actually the easiest and the safest and the most mechanically sound way to do it. We're not gonna cut a wire unless we have to. But pretty much, we're gonna try not to cut any wires. We're going to depend the wires and just plug them back in on the other side once we get the wires through the hole. Basically, we're gonna leave all this stuff over here and we're gonna clean this up when we're done. Our main focus right now is getting these two plugs through this hole. Now it's a pretty small hole. Okay, there's a little rubber plug. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna fish all the wires through there. I know it seems impossible, but it's not that hard. That's why we went to Walmart and got the pick set because the pick set is gonna help us not only eject the wires, but pull the little rubber grommet out and push the wires through. Take this razor blade, cut this, Okay, no cut ourselves. Okay, now we got them kind of separated from the main harness. Our next step is to get them separated all the way back to right about here where they come out so that these wires can turn and go through here. Okay, so basically what we need to do is get this uh, side of the harness to come through this hole right here, which seems relatively easy 
but I've got to take this off to kind of get behind it and move, maneuver it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, to better show you guys what's going on, I went ahead and removed my headlight fluid washer. You bastards. Anyway, by the way, if anybody ever wonders what this little brown plug right here, oh, great, a train. It's for fog lights. Okay, so now I'm gonna unplug the pressure switch on the AC. And I'm gonna throw this over here. Literally, the only thing we have left over here is the headlight harness. However, there's something that you can't see that the headlight washer hides the ground junction. I don't know if you can see it's pretty dark black. It's covered in poo, basically. That is the ground junction. Basically, it's all the grounds that ground up right there. So what we're going to do is a little trick. We're going to put it on the other side and run the bolt through. Works just the same. Okay, now we have removed the bolt. You can see the ground junction right there floating. The harness then all of a sudden becomes free. So now what we need to do is run everything down through this hole, which I think is a lot cleaner. Okay, I think I figured a good way to do this. Pulled everything through the hole first. I pulled the little uh, rubber grommet out. We're gonna slide that back here. So it stays out of the way. Now we're gonna take this, and if you notice, got the little slide clip right there. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna put that right where the hood release, release goes. Out. Duh. Well, that was easy. See this little notch here? You just put that through first. And we're gonna pull that through. And then we're also gonna put the ring around it because we don't want the wires getting chafed in the metal. It's very important. Sorry, that was kind of a bad camera angle. My battery's dying. So I've gotten everything through here. There's no necessary need for it to be through there. And we're going to follow it up that way. So we have our harness on this side coming through this hole. Now we have our little ground junction here. And we're going to take it. We're going to put the 10 millimeter bolt through it. And then we're going to mount it up to the back side of where it actually went through. And it threads right in. We're going to tighten that up. These basically make it all the way to here. Now we're gonna pop the grommet out. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a hole to run the wires through. But these plugs are not gonna to wanna to go through. We're gonna inject these two wires, pull them through here, put the connector back on, and then start with this one, which is the more complicated one. The first thing we're gonna do is pop this little plastic piece off. Okay, so we're gonna pop that little clip out so the wires can slide out. Okay, so I got one ejection. I'm gonna show you how we did it. Okay, so you pull the little grommet off and then that'll let you flex up and down. And then you're gonna stick it on the little poker on the outside. So I undid the first two wires. I pushed them through here and I'm reconnecting them. The red one goes on the right, and the white goes on the uh, left. Should slide right in, and you hear a click. And this little grommet, we're gonna shove back in, keep it nice and stable. Just connect it. If you're confused on which wire goes where, just look at the other side of the connector. White, white, red, red. That one's done. Now we just gotta connect this one. And this is where the fun begins. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is uh, take pictures of your plug so you don't forget the uh, orientation of the wires. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture here, facing this way. I'm gonna take one on the side. Another one on the side. Take a picture of the top. Okay, now that we've taken pictures of where the wires go, we need to depin this plug. Now. What we're gonna do here is this little white piece and the front here, right here, is actually just a cover that lines everything up so it needs to come out. So that lifts out. Now we've got our wires. Now this actually becomes quite easy from this part. So what we're gonna do is actually take it, we're gonna push up, 
It should slide out. You can actually push them up and push them back and the wires will slide out of their locked position. If you can see in there, it should slide right out. And voila, plug is separated. I'm gonna set that to the side. Now we're going to feed these wires a few at a time. Let me come on this side, kind of grab them from the other side and push them through. Grab and push them through. And then we got one. See, it's it's easier with two hands because we're gonna go ahead and just get them all in there. Now that we've got one through. Now this is the tedious part. It's just, it's not hard. It's just you got to be patient, and it's a pain. And I think we got them all through actually. So if we just kind of grab as a group. And pull. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I don't know if you can see through this angle. Put a hook in there. That is all of them. Uh, luckily, you know, we have this bundle of tape holding them together, so now we know we have all of them on this side. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the pictures up and we're gonna match the wires to where they go. Now, the easiest thing about this is that once you just put them in the clip, they just snap right in, it's great. So what I'm gonna do is look at the uh, picture. I'm gonna see the little clip on the top. So this is our top. We're gonna start with this picture. But red and white is going to be our first wire to go in. So we find the red and white, find the red and white. Okay, so the very first one here. Goes in this first hole. And you just slide it in and listen. Clicks right in. Well, this is kind of tricky because I have a red and green and a red and blue left. A red and green and a red and blue left. So to check its position, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look and I see a red and blue goes in the middle, I believe. Double check the pictures that I have, see if it coincides, just to be sure. Okay, red and green goes in the bottom. I'm going to double check that. Okay, so I believe I've got them all hooked in together. So I'm going to connect the connector. I'm just going to double check, take a look at the wires, make sure they match up. Well, they're not always going to be a, they're not always going to be the same. Yeah, red and green, red and green. Yeah. We are good. So pretty much now we have our driver side loom tucked sort of. Um, now we just need to tighten everything up so, you know, it doesn't get caught on anything. All right, I've got this zip tied together. I'm going to tape it up real quick, but make sure the section that goes through this hole gets plenty of tape around it so it can't, you know, rattle and cut through to the wire. Okay, so I have the uh, harness secured here. I probably got a little too many extra zip ties, but just for security, I do not want it to fall on the tire. Um, I've got this taped up. I've got this tucked away and zip tied out of the way. This is the fender light, so it's going to float about here. So everything's pretty much out of the way. So as far as this goes, this is how this looks here. And what we're gonna do pretty much is really just kind of stuff this down here. I've retaped it up so you, there's nothing really exposed and kind of tuck everything down there underneath. Okay, so before we put the fender on on this side, I got the headlight in, everything's plugged up. And while I'm on the uh, topic of tucking things, I went ahead and tucked the ground wire that goes here to the back. 10 millimeter there, 14 millimeter there. So the ground wire is tucked in there. I also kind of tucked the uh, brake booster line, kind of tucked it underneath. And this is all the wires that you see, which isn't bad at all. It's much cleaner. So we're just gonna turn the headlights on and just make sure everything's working. Corner light works. Headlights work. Everything seems to work. Double check the horn. Hey, it works. I'm gonna throw the fender on on this side and go ahead and take the fender off and the headlight out on that side. So, I'll see you in a second. Now we got the headlight and uh, fender removed on this side. Now we need to remove the battery and the fuse box. Camera in the right spot and then like, you know, I move all the time. Okay, disconnect the fuse box. Set it to the side. Okay, we had to go ahead and remove this uh, here uh, battery tray. Now we're gonna pop this line off everywhere. Okay, just like the other side. We take this plug. We're gonna fit it through. Okay, we have our harness here. Uh, we got the ground hooked up. 
we've got all the stuff sitting here. Now we've got to do this plug that we're going to do, just like last time. We're going to take a picture of the wires and which way they go. So now we're going to deep end this plug, shove the wires through this hole, and put it back on and plug it up. We'll be done. Push back. Push up. 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 Push back. Boom. And we have our wires depend from our plug. You see it? Mm -hmm. Feed all these wires into there. You see that? Boom. And that's all we need to do to tuck this harness play bar. Kind of get a shot of the. All right, so we're gonna look at our pictures. And then we're gonna have the first wire, it's blue and red. Goes in this way, should slide in and click. The second is black, yes. Black and red, click. So now we have that. We can double check our wires. Okay. Now we're just gonna zip tie everything out of the way and uh, fit the fuse box back in, clean everything up, and we'll be done. Apparently these two wires can only go one way. How much is the one on Amazon? Like 20. So here it is, here's the final product of the passenger side. We've got the battery mounted in, the fuse box mounted in. There's no wire on the side. Everything's tucked right here. It goes through the hole. Don't forget the grommet. And it goes on the edge of the fender. We'll put the fender on. It'll cover it up. Put the headlight back in and everything will be beautiful. Headlights work, so everything will be back to... And here's our final product. Headlight tucked. So that's it for the wire tuck. I hope this video helped you out if you want to attempt this yourself. Uh, the EK is pretty easy. The EG is a little more difficult, but it's about the same. So please subscribe, click like, comment, tell me what you think below, and we've got a lot more stuff coming up, including a new paint job. And hopefully we'll get on uh, Charlie's drag car this week, installing that motor. And I'll see you next time.